Hey guys, uh, comic book review. If you saw my Walking Dead number 84 yesterday, I mentioned this one would be one of the ones coming up next. We have a, uh, it's actually X-Men Curse of the Mutants. It's a Marvel one-shot blade. Uh, basically the story goes in this one, Blade finds out there's rumors of, uh, Dracula being killed, and he sets out to uh, find out who did it. Uh, he has a run-in with Claudia, and from there they realize that they need to work together, and they get some other slayers together, uh, Dolly, and then uh, Trip and Texter join the... Uh, Join the crew, and and all that ends up being about a dozen of them. And they eventually find that the person that did kill Dracula is Dracula's second son. And they hunt him down, and they find it weird that he's in Phoenix, Arizona, very sunny place. And from there, that they they find that somehow. They are also daywalkers. Somehow they figured it out, and Dracula's son has a hundred of the deadliest vampires. And from there, everybody in Blade's crew gets killed. The artwork in this is pretty cool. Uh, it comes down to just being Blade. And uh, from there, it's just Blade and still tons of uh, vampires that are left to kill. And in part of it, Blade wants to know how, how they uh, became Daywalkers, and they mention uh, mutants. So somehow they uh, evolved. And Blade escapes in the end, and he's headed to San Francisco. Oh, this is pretty exciting. Haven't read a Blade comic book in a while, so I picked this up. It was pretty cool. Artwork was good, and the battle with the vampires was pretty sweet, as you can see. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for my review. I'd uh, I'd say this was a solid seven on a one to ten scale. I enjoyed it. It was a good read. Went pretty quick, and there was action and good artwork. And a good, good little story there. So I'm gonna be checking out more of these uh, Curse, Curse of the Mutants. So uh, tell me what you think of the review. If you uh, like it, go pick this one up. Got it for uh, $2.99. Thanks, guys.